What's up guys, it's Drew from Drew Does Trucks. Um, I am with you here today. I wanted to show you this product. Uh, this is called Rust-Oleum Never Wet. It is a two, two layer surface treatment system that has a base coat and a top coat. So you have two. Um, and the idea behind it, according to the box, is it easily creates a super hydrophobic surface. So basically water will beat up and run off once it's coated with this paint. Um, I don't know what this stuff normally costs, but it was at the surplus store for like $3 uh, for each one of these two can kits. And I had this application here. This is the quick attach snow plow I made for my John Deere loader last year. And as you can see, I painted the backside of it John Deere green. I painted the quick tech mount black, um, but I did not paint the blade. And it does have some surface rust. So I'm going to go over that with a wire brush and an angle grinder. And then I'm going to apply this base coat and top coat to it. And we are mid-November here in West Virginia. So we're probably still a few weeks away from our first snow. Um, but I will update this video um, and add on to it. I'm going to go ahead and wire brush this and paint this real quick. And then once we get our um, once we get our first snow and I get to use it, I'm curious to see if it helps that snow roll off this plow better. Um, the snow does tend to kind of stick to it the way it is. So, all right, let's get to work. All right, so we've got our plow all cleaned up with the wire brush. Um, Reading our instructions here, shake in for two minutes, uh, sorry, for one minute, uh, make one light coat back and forth, one light coat up and down, six to 12 inches from the surface, wait 30 minutes for it to die, uh, dry, and then follow that up with top coat application. Do not over apply. Soaking surface will cause pooling. So um, we're gonna go ahead and spray our base coat on after I shake these cans up. And then uh, we'll set a timer and we'll come back and get the top coat. And then I guess we'll just have to wait for snow. Okay guys, it's the next morning. Uh, it did rain last night, as you can kind of tell. Um, but this dried, it said the instruction said it needed to dry for 30 minutes. It definitely got 30 minutes before it dried. Um, the instruction said if you applied the clear coat too heavy, it would run. And you can, I don't know if, if the camera's picking it up, but you can definitely see the runs. It almost looks like um, a frosting or something. So I guess I applied it too heavy. I'm kind of surprised that it did that because I applied really light coats. But anyway, um, got some water here. I just want to see what happens. Oh, wow. Look at that. Like the water didn't even sit in the... That's insane. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> Look at that. This water kind of dirty. It's sitting on this bucket. Look how the water not only ran off, but it carried almost all of those leaves and stuff that were in it right off too. Huh. So, so this is actually interesting. Look where, like, some of the coating actually ran off the end of the blade right here. Like, I guess that mile was drawing, drying. Um. So, it doesn't. It feels like almost chalky to the touch. It's so weird that it behaves that way. I think. Uh, I mean, based on how that water runs off there, I think this will work amazing for snow. But I guess we'll have to wait and find out. So, hopefully, the next time I see you guys, I'll be bundled up. We'll have the chains on the tractor and we'll be pushing some snow with this thing. What's up guys? It's super early. Uh, we just had really our first snow of the year. Uh, we got the John Deere warming up. 
I've kind of made my first made my first pass with it uh, from here back anyway. And then I remembered I was going to show a video on this paint, so you guys can see how it rolls the snow off. And I don't think there's like a a great way to mount this camera on this plow, but that's what we're going to try and do anyway. Let's see if we can wrap that. All right, that may be as good as it gets. So we got the plow angled that way. We're gonna make a pass. We'll see if it shuffles that snow that way a little better. like the camera actually uh, looks like the camera actually pitched forward there so I'm just gonna grab it and ride along with it um, it does I don't have any snow rolling off the top of the blade like I used to every snow is a little different but it's not sticking to the blade at all I'm gonna have you guys ride with me and we'll see uh, we'll see if it makes a difference So that wasn't as ideal to show this as it would have been if I, you had got me plowing that first row. When we come back and take a look. We do have some snow stuck to the blade. So is what it is. I really didn't think we'd have any with that paint. Um, having said that, this snow just kind of pushes right off. And most of what's stuck there is stuck to like some mud that we picked up um, just from picking up little bits, uh, pieces of grass. You, what you may have noticed in the video, I, I don't have any snow coming over the top. So um, it is building, the, the, the plow is building the snow up to the top, um, which is what they're designed to do. To come up to that top and just roll, um, bring the, the snow up and roll it over and just kind of like corkscrew it down. That's kind of how they're supposed to work. It is working that way. Um, it had that crappy paint on it before and it was not working that way so some paint helps i can't say for sure this paint helps um so uh you can compare that to my video of me plowing snow from last year um uh, that's in the plow building video which i'll post here and you can decide for yourself if it's worth the very small investment for me it was like four dollars because that stuff was at the surplus store but anyway i have to get to work the driveway is plowed i um, going to go enjoy driving to sn uh, work in the first snow of the season. So I'll see you guys on the next video. All right, guys. It's Drew back again with the Rust-Oleum uh, painted snowplow. We got a whole bunch of snow, and then it had freezing rain on top of it. So it's got this, like, hard crust. And it snowed, but it was, like, 15 degrees out, so it was really light and fluffy. But then it rained on top of it and froze. Now it's just this big, sludgy, compacted mess. So I wanted to break out the Rust-Oleum plow again so I could see um, how it does with this particular snow. It's really heavy. Like it's really just piling up in front of the plow instead of rolling off. Um, so I thought it might be a good test for this plow. You can see how it does. So I'm going to stick this at the end of the driveway and uh, it's real windy. Sorry if that's uh, messing up the audio on this, but we'll see. Uh, we'll see how this Rust-Oleum doesn't roll in this thick, heavy slush off. I, 
I think you can tell from that shot that snow is really like just rolling, just pushing off of this. Man, these nice uh, miles. It definitely didn't do that with this type of snow before. I'm gonna be honest after the first snow I really wasn't sure this paint was worth the money um, and it is um, after just these couple plows we're done with it here it's starting to kind of scrape the uh, the finish off the very bottom of the cutting edge but over the rest of the plow it's holding up pretty well and it is definitely um, proving its worth on this wet slushy snow uh, you know, every snow is different. Every snow sticks to your plow different. But I've I've had a lot of problems with this kind of snow before. It's almost like at the end of the day, you end up having to put the plow straight and push as much as you can, then go back and try and, and sideways push it out of the driveway because this little tractor just doesn't have enough weight to uh, to roll it up off. But as you can see, two passes, we've more or less completely opened the driveway. Um, I'm going to run down once through again and uh, roll that plow back, but. The paint is definitely making that, making the snow, um, I, don't, I don't know what the word is, but it's like forming a barrel, like a wave at the ocean. So as long as the plow is angled, that snow just keeps rolling, rolling, rolling like a corkscrew and rolls off the end, pushes it off the driveway. So before, like I said, it just stick and pile up. Um, so it's, uh, I mean, for the marginal cost of doing this, I think it's worth it. We'll see how long it lasts. I'm gonna make some more passes. I'll stick you guys up here on the roll bar in case you want to ride along. Uh -huh. 